what you see here is four or five devices hmm, Chinese ripoff four devices that are all always on devices that is they all have data connectivity internet connectivity over cellular data this is around digital Evron with HSDPA Nokia 6283G phone Nokia E90 HSDPA capability and a Q1B HSDPA UMPC with HSDPA capability obviously uh, for me mobility really does mean cellular data and not Wi-Fi our hotspots aren't mobile they are they allow you to use a portable device in a certain location so it's not mobile what I want to do quickly is show you each of those devices and how long it takes to access a, a, a kind of a consumer scenario I guess accessing email via Gmail okay we're going to take all four of those devices and try and time how long it takes to get to Gmail so four three two one go so that's starting up the application I'm going to choose Google Mail from the bookmarks I'm going to open it up and it's there already so it's very quick to start up the application and get to Google Mail the navigation is pretty slow though and that's that done and that was 19 seconds 19 seconds no 23 24 seconds that was and 4 3 2 1 go okay go to opera mini we go to the Google Mail bookmark mm, 15 seconds it's loaded the page and we can pick up the first mail very quickly 20, 22 seconds so that worked out to be quicker than the Nokia E90 which is pretty interesting Two, one, go. Okay, so about six seconds to come in out of standby. Okay, we can go straight to the icon. And in 15 seconds, the Gmail is application, sorry, the Internet App Explorer application is up. So that's slower than all the other devices. Loading the web page and after 26 seconds it's there and then I can read the email fairly swiftly from that which is another three seconds 29 seconds for the Rayon digital ever run so that's the slowest of all the devices just to switch on and read the first page and four three two one go okay So quicker to come out of standby. I'm just going to go straight into there, straight into Explorer. That's 10 seconds. So it's fairly quick to fire that up. It's probably connecting 3G now, 15 seconds. 20 seconds, it's connected. And now the page is up at 24 seconds. And then it's a very simple operation to go to the first email at 26 seconds. So again, that's slower than all the other devices. So at the moment we've got the Nokia 6280 is the winner at 22 seconds uh, using Opera Mini. And the slowest is the Rayon Digital Everon at 29 seconds. But there's one more thing I want to show you. I want to show you the 6280 again in a slightly different uh, way. Now what we're doing here is we're just reading emails. You don't actually need 800 by 480 screen to read emails. All you need is a 320 QVGA screen of a 6280. And if I use the Gmail application, have a look to see how fast it is. 
All I need to do is unlock the device, go to the Gmail app, say yes to allow network access. It's already connected, it's already in, and the emails are up. One button press, there's the first email. Okay, that's a lot, lot quicker. Let's do that again and let's time it, okay? So, three, two, one, go. Go to Gmail, oops, Gmail app. Allow it to connect. Six, seven seconds. 10, 12, 13, four, 14 seconds. 14 seconds to read an email. That's uh, eight seconds faster than the fastest device, which was the 6280 in the first place. The diagram here shows some test results that umpcportal.com and pocketables.net did on a number of ARM and x86 based devices. Page load times were done over 10 websites. The basic result is that for every page you view on an ARM device, it's going to take you on average 9 seconds longer. So while the first page view on an ARM device, instant on, is going to be quicker, any page after the first one you view is going to take a lot, lot longer.